This is Taylor Finney's BMC Time Machine. So the drivetrain is completely Shimano 11-speed electronic. However, the brakes are proprietary to BMC, and they're actually part of the frame. You can see on the front here, the brakes are integrated into the fork, while on the rear, the brakes are actually at the bottom. The cockpit on these time machines are provided by 3T. The tires on this particular bike are provided by Continental. Pedals, Shimano Durace, and the saddle, well, can't tell you about that, sorry. So this little orange piece of plastic on the aero extension is the SRM head unit mount. Uh, and because it's a time trial bike, you've got thumb shifters both on the aero extension and down here on the handlebar. BMC Racing is sponsored by Shimano. However, this wheel set, there is no Shimano logo anywhere on the fr uh, rear disc or on the front tri-spoke, and that's because they're not Shimano wheels. In fact, a close look reveals that it's actually a lightweight rear disc and a head carbon tri-spoke. I'm here with Ian Sherburn, team mechanic for BMC Racing. We're taking a look at Taylor Finney's uh, time machine that'll be riding the time trial here at the Pro Challenge. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about the gearing that Taylor's riding for this uh, hilly Pro, Pro Challenge time trial. Yeah, because there's uh, Moonstone Road in this time trial here. It's uh, We're really kind of forced to address like really big, fast descents and then a really steep climb that they did yesterday in the stage as well. So we kind of have this like hybrid gearing sort of where we have a 39 inner ring, which is the normal climbing ring. And then uh, for the riders, it's a 54 or in some cases a 56 um, outer ring and then 1128 on the back, Russ. Yeah, 5411 biggest gear, 3928 climbing gear. Exactly. It's a it's a hill climbing and a and a downhilling setup all at the same time. All right. Well, I am here with Neil Henderson of the Science Performance Team at BMC Racing. Neil, you've actually worked with Taylor Finney for a long time, many many years. Yes. Um, we're looking closely at his TT bike, and I thought his time machine, and I thought it would be interesting to get your perspective on exactly how Taylor dialed in his aerodynamic fit on this bike. I know you were a big part of that process. Yeah. There's a. Uh a series of things that we look at when we're setting somebody up on their TT bike. Some of the basic things include the saddle height and fore aft, kind of basic cockpit there. Then we have the drop to the bars, the extension length, and then elbow width. From that, as a starting point, we can get kind of some static measurements. Then there's testing that's done both in the wind tunnel, and then we go to the velodrome and actually ride on the track, producing a given amount of power. And we also look at the aerodynamics and the amount of power is required to ride different positions. From that, we can also look at things like the skin suit and the helmet and the head position that can really optimize the speed for a given power. Can you talk a little bit about how Taylor's height has affected his ability to uh, fit within the UCI's uh, limitations on reach, because I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, there, there are certain rules that everyone has, and then there's what we call morphological exceptions, where if you're very tall or very short, you can change things in terms of the saddle setback or the length. So Taylor has a setback that's far enough back that allows him to then use that extra five centimeter morphological extension on the reaches. We also then look at the things of the hand, height where the extensions are relative to the elbow pad and there's a 10 centimeter kind of height allowance there and we go for that for his position that kind of feels most comfortable as well as in terms of an aerodynamics there's a benefit. For a video explaining what makes a pro cyclist a time trial specialist click up here. To take a look at our entire playlist of TT bikes click down here and to subscribe to GCN well just click on Taylor Finney and his time machine right behind me.